What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy Grand Twizzle, and we are back as promised. And in this episode, I'm going to be teaching you how to take those static flyer images that we produced and created in Photoshop and turn it into an animated GIF. And the benefits, of course, of that is to be able to offer your clients because a lot of times, clients today, they don't just promote with physical flyers. They actually promote on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and different places like that. So if you have the skill set under your clutches where you can actually teach a person, or not teach a person, but you can actually not only offer a static flyer, but you can also offer an animated flyer, then nine and a half out of 10, you're gonna get the job. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you a very, very simple way to, to do this. Now there's also a way that you can do it in uh, Photoshop, but unfortunately right now I don't have CC, I just have Extended and I have um, CS6, and um, I'm having some issues with the dynamic link. So with that being said, we're just gonna produce some here in After Effects, and you can also do this in Adobe Premiere too, but it's very simple. Um, and I can show you be better than I could tell you. Let's go ahead and go to import, uh, click file, and let's go to the actual file folders. And uh, let's blow this boy boy up. And uh, we can simply, now let me show you the end result of it real quick. Here's the end result of this version here. And we put that in the loop, animated GIF. And uh, here's another one. And here's another one. So it's really simple. Um, let's go ahead and pick a Photoshop file. And we'll pick that one here. And um, you do a simple import. Um, let's say at a goal layer, you just hit OK. And it will import it. And the benefits of it is that it will keep all its layers. So if you double click on the composition, you will see that it will create a folder with all the layers separate. So all you simply do is go to import and import a file, a video file. Now I have my video files in here, so we're gonna click, um, select glowing fire embers, import, and we're gonna treat this video file the same way we would treat it inside of Photoshop. So let's go back to um, the layers here, drag glow to the page. Now let's open it and kind of tweak it a little bit. Um, I'm select the edges and hold shift so we can kind of keep the um, aspect ratio of it. And then I'm gonna tighten that. Now what we're gonna do here is, uh, here let me hit fill up 100%. We're just gonna kind of back it up. You know, kind of put it behind a lot of things here. And um, put it in front of the background. Maybe we can put it like right in front of the background. Now, something you want to do to it again, I say you want to treat it like um, like it's a Photoshop file. And you know that a lot of times when we're trying to remove the black, first let, let me do this real quick. This is kind of extra. You don't have to do this, but I kind of like to do it um, for contrast. So I go to levels and I'll darken it. So we can only kind of just see the light, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, we'll boost the brightness up a little bit. And then I will take it and we put it on the nigga. Now you can do screen or um, you know anything like that. Anything that'll remove the black, but I like linear dodge. Um, because it kind of adds like a glow to it. And then we can pull it, we can pull it down, put it behind the girl, and then just play it. And for me, that's good enough. That's good enough. So what I like to do is um, stretch it. To me, that's these, that's long enough for a loop. You know, usually it's going to be make, maybe two or three seconds. Uh, we'll stop it at kind of like three seconds. I'm going to hit end. 
and uh, we go to composition, trim comp to work area, and then we'll play it as a loop and see how it's working. Okay, that's pretty good. And don't worry about it if it's too long because we can always shorten it when we um, convert the video file to a GIF. So right now, what I'm gonna do is since this is the beginning of the video, I kinda quite don't want it to start right at the beginning, right? So I'm gonna take the video file and, and drag it back a little bit. And then we'll move this and slide it. And then um, I'm gonna play a loop, hit it, edit process. Okay, that looked like a decent loop. Okay, so it's not really obvious that it's looping. That's perfect. And then we'll simply go up to um, File, Export, and then we'll render. And it's just that simple. And we already have this already rendered out because as you see, I had a file already created. So we just hit Render. Bam, and we're absolutely done. So the second thing I like to do is once the video is done, here, let's go preview it real quick. Let's go to computer and um, let's open up the folder here. And we'll see that um, it's named 1-1 one, one. here. Cause we already got the other one. But this is the one we just produced. So let's right click and play. So this is the loop. So now we're going to take this, because it's a video file right now, and as you'll see, the size of this video file, if you go to properties, you'll see that the size of the video file is 147. Now I got this program that allows me, that allows me to shrink files, and that program is called Handbrake. So you can download that, that's free. And uh, what I'm going to do is before we drag it into the free GIF converter file, I'm going to take and um, drag this in here and shrink the file a little smaller. So I'll hit web optimize, um, leave everything else as is. I'll take the quality and drop it to like, let's say 28. We're going to select optimize video and now uh, we'll go to advanced and we'll change these numbers to let's say 8 and we'll really make this file significantly small by doing that so let's hit browse so we can know where we're going to park it and um, we'll just put a dash here <clears throat> sorry about that you can't see it we'll just put a dash a double dash so you know that the double dash file is the file that we just just produced and then we're hitting code and we'll let that shrink down and um, let's kind of preview it real quick so we know that it's double dash remember we picked double dash let's right click it and see the size of the file now and as you see the, the file size now is 179 and um, that's from you know the big file size to 179 that's a, that's significant but as you see it still plays pretty darn good it looks clean, it's clear, you can even blow it up. You know, really small file size. But the quality is like bang. So that's why you want to definitely download something like Handbrake, all right? All right, so now that we have that, we can go ahead and look up these other files. Gimphy. <clears throat> so that's again, Gimphy, animated GIF. And as you see, I already created one, but we're gonna create another one for the tutorial. I'm gonna click that to choose the video. Remember, we had the double dash, so we select the double dash, hit open. This is gonna ask us, ask us, um, do we want to shorten it? But well, we already shortened it, so we can keep that as is and continue to decorate. Use everything as default, and just hit continue to upload. To Gimpy. And as you see, it's done processing. And now all we have to do is either copy the link. Um, here's a short link, GIF link, um, HTML5 link, 
or the gift shortener and um, there's the media we can copy the media files or we can embed it copy that and embed it inside of a channel so that is in a nutshell how you can produce how you can take your um, video convert it to a gift file and submit it to your clients and you can add an extra 25 30 40 dollars or you can just win them over and say I do you know flyers for 65 70 dollars but I add the animated the animated version of it for 90 or 100 and they'll buy it trust me they'll buy it and you can encourage them you know when you when your flyers posted you want it animated so that people can you know see it and you know be intrigued by the investment and um, there show up at your party now uh, I'm going to show you just one more thing and actually what I'm going to do actually I don't have to show you uh, any more things the one thing that I do want to share with you is where do you get your animated loops from and I'm going to show you animated loops I'll just say something like lights background and that's where you get it from Shiny. right here so as you see we got some style party lights going on right there we got some bokeh moving right there some HD files right here some movement right here movement there you can find all of your resources right here I actually got this downloaded right now as a matter of fact let me show you um, the file here that we go to uh, we go to project we right click and hit import you'll see that uh, I have that video right there and I downloaded it from YouTube just go to YouTube downloader and um, here's the video file and we can take that and actually drag it here we can drag this video file let's say right there and um, put it in a linear dodge and um, simply just hit play and there we have some circular motion lights going on there that is just that simple fam um, but a lot of people that that don't know you know can perceive that it's very complicated so that's what you're paying your homie grand tizzle for so I can teach you the game alright so anything that can up your game, that can put extra money in your pocket, your homie Grand Tizzle is here for that. So, thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for checking it out. I will have some more tips and secrets for you guys. And I will also have some other style flyer tutorials. This is a summary um, of this particular style, stylistic flyers, uh, animated, you know, action pack. And... Um, that's for this particular style. So we're going to be bringing other styles and other flavors and other vibes to you so that you can, uh, you know, have a variety to choose from, you know, in your arsenal, in your brain set, in your backpack of madness and drama. And, um, you know, you can pull out any, any style whenever you feel like it. All right. So I hope you benefited from that. I hope you uh, learned something. And until the next time, make sure y'all stay tuned. I'll see you in a minute. I'll see you on spinning. Thank you for watching. Peace.